events. I'm your host, Jennifer Beatty Yen. Today, we have a series of awesome stories made by some of the most talented filmmakers from around the world based on the theme, Going Viral. Enjoy. Hey babe, can you give me some toilet paper? Yeah, just a second. We're out over here. Let me check upstairs. Hello. Where did you come from? Hmm. Here you go. Thank you. Have you seen this book before? No. Where'd you get it? Behind where we usually keep the toilet paper. Okay. Anyway, not important. I tried a toilet paper conjuration spell from this book. And it didn't work. Not surprising. But I tried a digital conjuration spell and Toilet paper appeared. Watch. Abracaflui dish so dewy. Whoa. That's amazing. But that's dish soap. <laughs> okay. Toilet paper behold. Do as you're told. Do you know what this means? Uh, toilet paper for life? It means I'm going to be famous. Film me on Friendgram, please. Okay. Toilet paper, behold, do as you're told. this is a good idea. What could go wrong? I'm going to be famous. Okay. I'm live with Sandra. Can you show us some real magic and silence the skeptics? Absolutely. Watch this. Toilet paper behold. Do as you're told. Toilet paper behold, do as you're told. I swear this isn't a trick. I, I don't understand why it's not working. Okay, well, there you have it. Looks like this might have been a stunt all along. Back to you, Rick. Toilet paper behold, do as you're told. She's obviously just not magic. Really? What an attention for You're such a poser. Black Baker. I can't believe I followed her. everything. Everything? You mean your friendgram followers? I'm never going to be an influencer. I'm never going to be a famous actress. Why do you think it failed on the live interview? Um, maybe because you didn't have good intent. The book said spells for the good witch. And when you got caught up in the popularity of it, they stopped working. That makes sense. Also, if your friend and followers left you so fast, they weren't your friends. You were just a fad to them. Maybe going viral isn't all it's cracked up to be. 
thought I was so special. Sandra, you are special to me. Toilet paper conjuring or not. Hi, uh, my name is Callie and this is my first live stream ever. I don't know, it's weird. I'm um, not really sure what I'm doing or why you should watch me or, uh, but, um, if, hi, hi, uh, that person that's there, uh, hi, what's your, what's your name? How are, how, are, how's your day going? What's up? It's crazy that we've been doing this for a couple days, right? Like, super weird? No? Okay, yeah, me neither. Um, but let's keep this super simple, and do you all think that I should watch Booksmart or Game of Thrones? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of feeling books for it too. Don't! Alright, let's go. So my day is going like really good. I think I'm getting the hang of this live streaming thing. Right? But thank you guys so much for being here. You guys have been like family. Okay, so since today's Wednesdays, it's what should I do Wednesdays? And I'm sorry I'm going to kind of hit you with like a little bit of a heavy question, but like I've been wondering if I should go back to school because like all my friends are really solid in their lives and stuff and I just feel like I'm not you know no I'm not saying that you guys aren't enough just I don't know do you guys think I should go back to school or do you think that I should do photography or longboard I don't know do you guys should we do should go back bag. to school cocoa or, pebbles or, or should I learn you know or, or and do you all think that I should watch uh, book smart my name is Callie and it went viral should I wear or, this dark like one? Okay, trip. Oh, wow. you, baby. So, uh, as many of you know, it was just my birthday. And a huge thank you to everybody who pitched in, because you know I like alpacas, and got me this guy. His name is Faraday. He's perfect. Look at him! It was just Actually, my birthday. It's a, it's a, and a huge thank you to everybody. But thank you guys so much for being here. You guys have been, like, family. You weren't owed all of my time and energy so like maybe that wasn't a really good decision to go back to school like you guys said i'm i'm sorry it's just it's been a really long day and i i can't talk to you guys i don't know do you guys so cool. yeah i i look tired yep i look exhausted nothing nothing gets by you guys right no, I can't play guitar. Like, what? what's wrong with you? No, you can't request a song. Like, you know, you guys have been a part of every major decision that I've made. So, why stop now, right? Yes or no? Okay. Hello viewers. It has come to our attention that Callie is extinct. We had hoped that she would be more than entertainment value. And if she was, then she has been living her life, making your memories, taking your risks because you refuse to take them for yourselves. Unfortunately, all of you failed to put her wants before your own. 21,497 of you will be tried for murder in the first degree. See this as a lesson, that your entertainment is not worth the life of another. And remember, sometimes the simplest answers have the biggest consequences. Hey everybody, um, it is my first streaming video and I don't know. I guess we'll kind of... Oh, hey. Hey. Uh, nice to meet you. How's it going? Oh. Oh, okay. You don't like my lipstick. No, that's fine. Not, you know what? I'll, I'll just take it off.
She left? I was picking up poop the entire time. Oh no, it's gonna stay up. Lorna, inventory! <sighs> inventory. Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you can be here in spite of recent events. I reached out because I thought maybe we can all heal and support and maybe even influence ourselves. What exactly are we doing here? I was getting there. I'm a brand manager and it was brought to my attention that you, my fellow influencers, were recently dragged online for something that you did that went viral and attempted to make an apology video. So I'm here to help you win back your followers, your sponsors, so everyone, please introduce yourselves. Bonjour, everyone. I'm Indigo, he, him, his. You may know me because of my famous Instagram, your Indigo Bebe, and my famous face cream line, Indiglo. No, you know, there's really no reason to plug your brand. Not a plug. Really? Sup, I'm Peter, and uh, you might know me as Peter Protein. My brand sells high quality bone broth protein, and I go by he, him, and I'm a fitness influencer. Everyone, please refrain from plugging your brand. My name's Chuck. Uh, uh, pronouns are uh, he, him, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I used to be a uh, Queer influencer. I just sell beard oils. People loved them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I also peddled my own shirts. Again, guys, you don't really need to promote your brand. I'm Ash, aka Yoko Homo. Um, my pronouns are Givenchy and McQueen. Uh, I'm a fashion influencer, obviously. Um, and I can tell that most of you don't follow me on any of my social medias. Because, yeah, these outfits are tragic. Thanks, Ash, for your brutal honesty. Anyways, it is important when someone gets cancelled that they attempt to make an apology video in hopes to win back some sympathy from some followers or sponsors. Now, let's take a look at your apology videos and understand why they did not work. I've been caught facetuning my face, and I just want to say... I'm sorry. And to say, and to prove that I'm sorry, I'm going to reveal 
the real your indigo baby right now. This is me. Okay, your indigo baby. What did we learn? Are you wiping your tears with toilet paper? Yeah. It's Charmin 2 ply. What? It's soft, my precious skin. Yeah. Only the best for you, I see. Aw, thank you. Who's next? Like, all I did was tweet Adele saying she can have my six-week nutritional plan for 10% discount. And guess what? Her body-positive fans fucked me over on Twitter. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you don't have 10% body fat like I do. And guess what? I'm the reason why that bitch is skinny now. That's kind of fucked up, man. You're one to talk. Uh, Chuck, we'll look at your video now. It's true. I'm a hetero. <laughs> yeah, I've been married for about three years. Have four beautiful kids. <laughs> but you never know. I might get bored. <laughs> I, I'm kidding, honey. Of course. <laughs> Fucking breeder. Hey, come man, on, that's not... watch your mouth. Guys, 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 come on, you are better than this, you don't have to do this, just play the next video. Even if I was wearing sandals with socks, you know who wears sandals with socks and made it cool? Geishas. And fashion is cyclical, so I'm sorry that my fashion sense is so ahead of its time. You wish you were an influencer. You know what you are? Delusional. Come on. Okay, you know Come what? On. Awesome. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. I should look back what I said you. about your beret, I'm Indigo. Just... Okay? Wow. Yeah, it's not true. You know what? Doing, doing your beret. Okay. No okay. Come oh. at me when you're verified. Oh. No. Bitch, I was verified, okay? I got canceled. Y'all shut the fuck up, okay? We are all fuck. canceled. You bitches None of us are verified canceled. right now. Oh, hell fucking no. Come back here. You, yeah, you are not now. Just going now. Hey, you're not I my love. Like Do you know what these movies have in common? They were all made in 72 hours. Now in its 16th year, the 72 hour film shootout has been showcasing diverse talent with a focus on Asian and Asian Americans. With some amazing prizes and mentorships on the line, this competition is perfect for filmmakers of all levels. So if you've ever wanted to make a movie, this is your chance. You have to write, you have to rehearse, you have to film, and you have to edit. All this in 72 hours. Did I forget anything? Yes. This year is our isolation edition. The isolation, isolation edition. edition. We're asking that you make your film from the comfort of your own home. We know filming in isolation can be a real challenge, but we know the filmmakers from the 72 hour shootout are up for the task. You can do it. We believe that our competitors will rise to this challenge, just as they have risen to the challenge of making a movie in 72 hours. Just think of all the unique perspectives that will capture this moment in history. Hey guys, I uh, just want to say that we here at Crossings TV can't wait to see your films. Hey 72 Hour Shootout participants, I'm really looking forward to seeing your films. You heard the gang, so sign up and show us your best movies from quarantine. Film Lab presents. Tune in next week.